So even though Wolfman didn't win any Oscars this year, We Eat Films for Breakfast review board still found room in their hearts to honor this film. With Benicio Del Toro, Emily Blunt, and even Anthony Hopkins, this is certainly an all-star cast by any definition. So if you're into the genre, then don't miss this thriller review. Hey, welcome to We Eat Films. I'm Megan Wigmore. And I'm Sean Lott. And this is our budget set. Yeah, it's kind of weird. We spent all our money on the Avatar review, yeah. so we got this. Like, look at this. This is oh, kind this, of... This is, um, whatever. Yeah. It's good enough for now. We might use this for a couple weeks, so... Mm -hmm. So what we what we reviewing today, Megan? We are doing The Wolfman. <gasps> I know. With Benicio Del Toro? And Anthony Hopkins? And Hugo Weaving. Oh, whatever. Yeah. So, do you like Harry Men? Uh, so the movie's about uh, Benicio Del Toro plays Lawrence Talbot, an actor who comes back to his hometown uh, after he hears that his brother has died. <gasps> I, I know. So so he comes back, meets his creepy old dad, played by your boyfriend, oh, Anthony, Anthony Hopkins. Hopkins. Yes, dreamboat. And he finds out that his brother might have been killed by a werewolf. Dun dun dun. <clears throat> I know, wackiness ensues after that. So pretty much, that's the movie. He gets bit by a werewolf, people die. I really liked the atmosphere in this movie. It got me in there, it got me involved. Um, it was creepy. So the werewolves look really good in this movie. The CGI is well done and there's lots of wolf on wolf action. It was, it was foggy. There's lots of gore, which can be good or bad depending on what you like. It turned me off a little bit, but at the same time it was really cool. It's creepy. And you get to see Anthony Hopkins without a shirt. Things I really didn't like about this movie were like everything that wasn't the werewolf parts. If it didn't have a werewolf in it, it was really, really boring. I'm sorry, Hugo Weaving. Every time I saw you, I just saw Agent Smith. You were good as V and you were good as Megatron because I didn't see your face. Uh, other things, the performances, like Anthony Hopkins, like he's awesome and everything, but in this one it was just like he's going senile or something because man, his performance just kept changing. His accent kept changing. It was really annoying. The script was a bit stale. I think they might have tried to keep a little bit too much from 1941. The plot twist, or twist, I think was a little bit too obvious. I figured it out before I was supposed to and I think most people will. So Megan, what would you give this movie? I'd say about a 6 out of 10. Mm -hmm. It's not bad enough to go below 5. There was some really good stuff too, but it wasn't fantastic. Yeah, that's that's kind of my feeling of the film as well. Like, i give it about a 7 out of 10, just because I like the special effects, I like the werewolf stuff, like I said before, and the gore, although it was kind of a surprise, it's a nice welcome, and I'm not a gore hound by any means, but it wasn't bad. Yeah, I really wasn't expecting that much gore, but yeah. it was it was cool at the same time as it kind of grossed me out a little. Alright, well we're going to end it for today, so from We Eat Films, I'm Sean Lott. And I'm Megan Wigmore. And we just did the review for The Wolf Man. Let's go take our shirts off. I didn't get that memo.